to sort out what research I'm doing first. Right. We could actually research the rocket silo now. I think I've got the materials to be able to research it. And that means I'll be able to start crafting materials for a rocket. It's an idea. It might work. Right. Also need to go around and check out some of the defences because I remember we I got some attacks. Still got a gun defence there. Oh wow yeah, there's a bit of damage up here. I'm gonna place some more turrets down. Reorganise where that power pole is. Could do with those weapons being out here, so I'm gonna put the robot ports away for now. Increase the number of guns down this side. They seem to be coping okay. I'm thinking I may take out that base because you can see there on the map to the left there's a attack coming in. Maybe? Nope, they're going to make a base. Well, that was some timing. Just in time to see a base being made. So what we'll do is come out here and go like that. And that lot of trees will burn. Oh dear. Really didn't think about that carefully, did I? I just set fire to a nice forest. Whoops. Tell you what, we'll just deconstruct these near the wall. Just to be sure that um, the fire doesn't spread all the way down. There is a very large for well, there was a large forest. It's not anymore, I'm down removing it. Yeah, they're all going in the recycle bin. I'll recharge my robots and then go back across. Yep, and now they should all just go grab all those trees and then that's it, we're done. What we're going to do is remove some of the bases. I can't get through this, can I? No. Tell you what. New thing. That lot. And that lot. I can deconstruct some trees, but the, bot the thingies can't. I've still got 31 ammo left on the, the thingy. I'm going to change the order of guns, actually. Right, submachine gun gun go in there. That can come out. That goes there. That goes in. That goes in. No. That one there. Yes. That way, when I put that in, yeah, so the first gun is actually the flamethrower. And we'll just start off by putting a wall of fire there. And... Get rid of a bunch of biters all at once. Take out them. That should be half a base gun and some big biters and stuff. That'll give us some research from the biter bits. Get rid of these. Get rid of them. Ouch, 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 but most of that base is gone now. Big worms on fire. Gonna get rid of this base down here as well. Not so bothered about the one up there, but the one to the south, I think that's a bit inside the pollution zone. So they'll be tempted to expand and whoa car. Didn't want that destroyed. Oh, 
Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I've noticed something of a problem with the spit uh, biters. They have a tendency to hit you no matter what you do, you get hit by them. So when one of these spitty ones spits at you, as long as they spit, even if you move side to side, they hit you. Which means they have tracking targeting after they've spat. Because I've seen the spit fly across and hit me still. And I was lucky, I just got the edge of the end of the base there. Come on, you two die. Gonna get this rather large base here. I've only got 18 left. Oh, I've got plenty. Ooh. You know, in the, running in the darkness, it's not a very good idea. You can't really see very well. Uh, come on, we'll get the entire base on fire. You know, I was thinking about the big worms. There's a major problem with them. When you're at long distance, they can do massive amounts of damage. When you're at short distance, they can do absolutely massive amounts of damage. Maybe the devs should work, change the way that the big worms work. So that the bigger the worm, they can't work in a close range. So if you're a long distance away, you you can hit them, but because they're so large, if you're really really close, they can't actually physically hit you. I don't want this forest burning down. Please don't burn. That shouldn't be able to jump that gap now. Hopefully that should be okay. I'm gonna go north and take out this other base and then once we've done that we can do some more expansions and stuff. There are some real problems here though with biters and things like that because when you've got bases in the area if you don't take out the entire base the biters will keep respawning like that one did there just there that managed to respawn in the time it actually took to kill the base let's see uh, yeah, we should be okay there. If I remember rightly, I started building a wall up top there. What's that attacking? Uh, it's a eastern defence. Yeah, I started building a wall up there. So I really should put some defences on that. Thinking extending the railway straight up through the middle of this here. Need to take out that base there though as well. This should be okay for now. I might take out these bases in the south sometime soon. But we should be okay for that. Put the car down. Ride back. Gonna head north though. Apparently through a tree. Oh, need to go slightly round this. Apparently been an attack on that defence, but that's not much really. Come on, repair it. 
three objects have been damaged. Ah, that northern wall that I was just on about. That needed to be defended up. That's the only problem with these trees once you've crashed into them or burnt them, should I say. You can't get past them. I'm not going to be able to save any of them walls. Well, should I say I'm not going to be able to save any of them walls at this rate of driving. <laughs> it's two more trees. And now they've been destroyed. This is all my fault. And there they are. Now he's running off down there, and I'm going to have to replace these walls. I can't do it because I don't have the walls built. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Single defense turret seen should be able to deal with what's coming this way here for the moment. Just need to put power with poles down. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.